Hello guys, welcome to BMS Crypto YouTube channel. So today we're here we talk about cryptocurrency, airdrop, DeFi, and how to actually make money using crypto. So today I'm going to be like taking us on a very uh, obvious review about a very important tool in the crypto industry, right? Uh, the name of the tool, tool is a uh, DeFi Lama, right? As you can see here, this is a major tool in DeFi when it comes to crypto, right? So because it gives a very clear uh, narratives on different blockchains, the TVLs, the blockchains without uh, tokens, which like gives opportunity for possible air drops, some yield aggregate of farms, so which like uh, gives uh, passive incomes and some uh, NFTs, uh, uh, CX transparency, bridge governance volumes, like each transaction each volume trans each uh, each blockchain is like a uh, twin per month per day 24 hours and so on and so forth so let's explore the fire llama right so first of all the fire llama is an analytic tool you should understand that right here it shows home for all protocols total value locked is over 408 billion for all protocols right um when it, when it comes to TVL ranking, you see the liquid staking, which is an Ethereum liquid staking uh, platform, is over 11 billion US dollars, right? Mika DAO, if Cove, Uniswaps, all are like DeFi protocols, right? Pancake Swaps and Dex and all of them, they are all ranked based on the TVL they have, right? so um let's go straight to the next like take them one after the other right so i'm gonna go to the DeFi aspect and chains let's go to the chains here right these are chains chronos mixing phantom avalanche optimism polygon arbitrum now total value locked by each of these chains right you will see that arbitrum has over 2.5 billion that's like four percent uh, polygon has 1 billion which is two percent optimism half over 900 million us dollars and bsc has four point something billion tron has over five billion in total value lock in all in all across all its chain right now this is the chain groups now ethereum is the king obviously right which has over 27 billion locked in it now you see Arbitrum is pulling a lot of weights recently, right? It's moving. And this tool actually helps to like determine the, the chain which people use more often, people the chain people trust more to like save or lock some liquidity inside to maybe end rewards or maybe just to like hold their backs, right? So now if you go into the next, you see edge jobs. Edge jobs is at the protocols that do not have tokens yet they're just starting up and the rest of them and there are different blockchains they are like uh building the category they are building you can see gaming you can see dexes decentralized exchange you that we get to are like maybe farming a different protocol where you earn passive income by locking or staking your assets right insurance to like protect your assets lending protocol where you lend money we provide uh uh we provide uh what's it called collateral a form of tokens and you use it to like collect loans derivatives dex option vault staking pools like these are some different protocols this is a job section this section do not have tokens yet so you just need to like make extensive research on how to position yourself each of them right try and check most of them when they were listed the volume and the transaction that is going on there right and then how to like position how to completely analyze the blockchain the, 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 the protocol and to like position yourself like liquid swap do not have a token yet right uh tuga do not have a token yet that's what it means ambulant liquid liquid staking platform do not have a token yet uh if I protocol NFT lending protocol do not have a token yet, right? So Obit services, FCS, Dex, one chain. Most of them are 
one chain some are multi-chain already right and some this is the time they were like listed when the file one started tracking them right so you could also as well like check check their twitter handle okay let's say let's go to uh let's use one other example here app swap is it decentralized and it has over two million dollars on the total asset locked in it it means that people are using it and people trust it enough to like save their money in it you can see it's one time climbed to over three and four billion or five million five million us dollars like that was locked in it until it fell back right so um you can see their their stables this is uh um look at their twitter handle this is their website you could just like change your twitter handle and get the whole information you need from their website right it's the only true arbitrative deck suites offering the best game file services on nova and the smoothest trading experience on arbitron one right so that's how to go about your job right treasuries oracles fox fox and maybe uh let's say solidly fox that was happened on phantom it moved to someone like had a fork of it on um optimism so i'll probably have a for coffee tone or uh, arbitrum and that's just it all right you could just click on it and make researches about that all right you could learn a lot of things recent uh let's check click on the recent and see what they have here recent are protocols that are like uh, listed recently on the file i'm at we are like just um the file i started tracking the tvos and a lot of things happening on them right you can see nature swap the decks and it's on one chain right uh it's an evm os evm chain right um it means that it's growing for two for three percent on the total value locked already right so and they probably do not have token yet you could just like check it out right so yields Delta Natural is uh, yields. Lido is a liquid staking protocol on Ethereum. Sticked, it offers you sticked Ethereum. ST is sticked, ETH is Ethereum, right? BTC, Seabed, it's ST, Curve on Curve, right? Curve offers a, a staking pl platform as well now uh rocket pool r8 it offers you when you stake your ease you get an r8 base wrapped btc so it's most of these are liquidity pools right you could go for delta neutral go for boros overview stable pools where you can stick your stable coin that's like let's say uh stables in usdt busd and maybe usdc and die and uh uh, the rest of them right all the stable coins you could just like stick them uh, these are their pools and the top lead let's say the top leading pool there is frax on call frax usdc frax is frax token is a is a accurate stable coin usdc is a stable coin that is a stable coin usdc is a stable coin and usdc is a stable coin usdd is a stable coin by the throne usdc is, USDT is a stable coin now just learn this the project that is like having this thing uh, they are all like uh aligned by the tv uh, locked on them and you can see whooping 400 and something million us dollars that is locked in this place and uh, the base apy is 0 0.02 and reward apy is like one percent right so we literally make a lot of research here right now you could use defy lama to swap your coin if you if you want to they are not the ghetto like that they bring uh other dexes and like select the best one for you and like the one that has a cheaper gas fee the one that have a fair price as well so um the violence is uh, swap and people are using it basically like it's speculations that they're gonna do an edge drop so like let's try like, come on board and try to farm it yeah now nfts collections and nft marketplaces here you could see the whole nft marketplace is like different chains put on cardano put on it put on solana and the rest of them right you can see below is topping now the highest volume over in one day like this is a pin song like it's literally like times three of open sea 
right? So this that's a huge one for Blur because they did a net job, right? And people are still farming and the promise they're gonna be doing a net job soon. So you could literally use Blow, click on it, and like you use their marketplace to buy and sell blow so have an aggregator like they like use the aggregator to get the whole nft marketplace and select the best uh prizes for you like that's what an aggregator does right so x2 x2 y2 right is an instant nft marketplace so these and more of these pro aggregator bridges bridges are moving like uh funds from one blockchain to another right from let's say ethereum to um arbitrum to polygon to a lot of other places right so most of those bridges like have money locked in them and that's why most of the bridges are vulnerable right so when hackers attack some of those evm bridges like they make away with a lot of money in the exchange in the in the bridge that is locked for this liquidity but some projects are coming up with the best idea on that like not like locking liquidity and not minting uh the exact token on the other blockchain but find a way to like uh like uh move or mint one is the one of the coin you're printing or you're bridging on the other blockchain right uh, which is the best uh, uh, uh approach to the uh vulnerability that we have on the bridging uh tokens as of today right so um governance six transparency like here you see the tvls assets like uh, uh that is locked on some exchanges now this is governance bent finance proposals balancer if frags pancake swap and the rest of and these are just governance uh projects right now let's go back to sex transparency sex transparency is where you see the top uh crypto centralized exchange right that's centralized exchange let's see again here you see binance is leading with a clean assets of 56.6 billion a total asset of 67 billion us dollars okx is the next and bitfinex right uh inflows over 713 outflows over 7 270 you see that okx is getting a, a lot of volumes right the same with the uh kucoin bybit and the rest of them right bitfinex having a lot of withdrawal so you could actually track the exchanges like you're using to avoid a surprise like when people start pulling out their money from exchanges yeah i think it's probably timed for you to like also pull out your phones from it right support volume 24 open interest average leverage and the rest of them so this is it now borrow, borrow aggregator this practical protocols you could just borrow money from the aggregators like selecting the best platform for you to borrow right um liquidation maybe the uh the exchange that has high high number of liquidation and the amount that have been liquidated in the past few hours 24 hours 12 hours that's this liquidation right volumes i'm going to show you this volume right um this is not loading fast liquidation levels in DeFi. okay now liquidation levels in DeFi. right now this money is gone 1.7 is gone on different protocols like that of has a perpetual dex on decentralized exchanges right so land uh, mikada liquidity ev2 compound venus my protocol right bengi lending now this is maybe when you lend maybe when you borrow assets and offer a collateral and there's a limit maybe a price change that could get you liquidated and the rest of them right so that is what we have here right now volumes uh dex is volumes on decentralized exchanges right um you have 1.6 billion in decentralized exchanges with the leading one of uniswap um pancake swap cough meta dex dodo trader joe sushi balancer right uh quick swap zipper swap wufi velo drum now look Uniswap has a total volume of over 758 million US dollars. 
with a seven days volume of 10 billion with a total value of 4.17 billion locked in it right uniswap supposed to be the number one because it's a multi-chain right it supports almost all the evm blockchain right for polygon to arbitrum to optimism you can remember that we analyze most of those blockchain right here in this youtube channel right so all this is supposed to be very easy for you when you like go through most of them right now you could select because most of this the one the top best here have the best liquidity and best total volume locked in it so it's easier and like efficient to store up your coin there because there's enough liquidity but the lesser ones probably like still building up their liquidity and have slippages like why trying to like sell your work coins here fees and revenue based on um on the project ranking by fees ethereum uh fees in 24 hours is over nine million dollars revenue in 24 hours is seven million dollars oh that's revenue seven million dollars right so if you are providing liquidity or you're staking you make revenues from all these fees that these people are making if you're providing liquidity on uniswap you make money from the fees they are generating from people who are using their protocol right um i think um let's just talk about almost everything so in in DeFi Lama, you could learn about token liquidity, you could learn about trending contracts, you could learn about uh, DeFi Lama extension, you could use it, install it in your laptop. So you utilize it like to like uh, get information, get notifications on some changes that happen in the DeFi world, right? So um, uh, the DeFi Lama news, pay attention to the news that happen in the DeFi. So, I've, I see DeFi Lama as a very interesting analytic tool in DeFi that nobody that is claimed to be a DeFi guru should like uh, probably look down on like uh, you should never look down on these people because they literally uh, uh, gives you analytics on how to even to spend your money what to buy how to buy which tool to buy better with the protocols they're building the best thing the the it just gives the copies analysis of the most trust tech trust uh, like the project that people trust the most to like lock their liquidity or you use more often than the other right so i'll just give it a very high like reputable uh analytic tool. so but we're going to be analyzing on the analytic tools like uh we have Zerion, we have uh all those wallet tracking platforms I'm going to still analyze them in this youtube channel so stay with us stay jiggy right uh this is just stable coins based on their uh prices pegs if they're the pegging and the rest of them so now you see uh data has by market cap as well that I have over it's one billion US dollars in market cap, which makes it number one and makes a USD USDC number two by 30 billion. Like that's like times three, almost times three of the total market cap of USD. So Teta is very strong, like strong. And when I mean strong, those guys are real, real deals. So uh BUSD is like six billion, that is like uh four billion uh TUSD, which is strong. Uh is it Tron? No, I think it's true, true, true finance. So, uh, Pax dollars and Frax, and those are good stable coins uh, with low uh, market cap. They were still scared of uh, uh, good stable coins after what happened to UST. But we hope in the future, like, it's going to make sense later. So, guys, thank you so much for watching my YouTube channel and uh, to have. A wonderful time uh, on notifications so you get more information about what i share in my youtube and thank you and stay cheeky yeah